What's up everybody, with the release of Wild Dragonflight there is a ton of stuff to do and I'm loving every minute of it, I can't get enough of just riding around on the dragon and doing all the open world stuff, but one thing I found initially quite confusing was the reputations, there seems to be quests everywhere, it can be kind of chaotic, and there's things here that are easily missed or confusing such as the ability to get reputation up to 200% faster on your alts, understanding the different world events and how they tie into the factions and getting the crafting reputation that lets you buy the 15 crafting knowledge. Uh, so there's a lot of things that could be missed here, so I wanted to put together a quick Dragonflight reputation guide to make things simple, explain what to do, and what to expect with these reputations, these different factions, so let's get straight into it. There are four reputations in Dragonflight, the Dragon Scale Expedition, the Maruk Centaurs, the Iskara Tuscar, and the Valdraken Accord, and they're all pretty unique and individual. I, I think they've done a great job making these different enough from each other that you're kind of doing different things in each zone, but before we get into each one one by one, I do want to talk about some overall things that you can easily miss that you should be doing to really increase the rep on a big scale. So, number one is huge, and it's a quest called Aiding the Accord from Therazul in Valdraken. He asks you to go out and obtain 4,000 rep between any of the factions. So, if you're trying to rank your factions up, this is quite an easy one to tick off if you get it at the start of the week. So yeah, grab this and start going around, earning your reputation, your renown with the different ones. And this is this is a massive boost that just kind of just goes on top of everything. Next is another one I missed quite early on is the two dungeon quests from Kimora and Theldrin in the north of Valdraken. These give you two dungeons to do, so one each. And you can pick 250 rep for a faction of your choice. So if there's one that's lagging behind or one that you kind of want to push just over the, the limit, these dungeon quests can give you a nice little boost. And if you're doing dungeons as well to gear up, then it's a no-brainer really you can grab them and then on top of these two things uh the world quests world quests are everywhere give loads of reps so knock these out as you find them go for the items you want the rep you want and the, the world quests are world quests they're everywhere so go tackle these and you unlock a lot more world quests as you get your renowned up with the different factions but one of the big thing you need to be aware of is if you're looking at doing alts and you know if you want to bring everyone up at the same time you know if you're already leveling your alts there's one huge thing in these reputations if you get to rank 10 or rank 20 with all of them they all have the same reward so word of a worthy ally is it, say you get to level 10 with the Valdraken Accord, you'll get word of a worthy ally Valdraken Accord, and that will give you 100% increased rep gains on your alts for that faction, for that, you know, for that reputation. So if you get everything to 10, your alts are getting 100% across the board. And then if you get it to rank 20, renowned, you get 200% uh, up to rank 10, and then 100% up to rank 20. Okay, so the Maruk Centaurs. These are located in the Anora Plains and are a wandering tribe of centaurs that start out with some pretty basic quest hubs all around the map. You can get your initial big burst of reputation just doing these quests. It'll rank you up quite a few renown levels and unlock the base systems. And there's two big tasks to do with this faction. Clan Alag, a Alag Camps, and these are unlocked at renown level 4. They're camps that travel around the map every three days and they work as another little quest hub. So you'll see them kind of next to the main of main area um, and it's another little place to grab some quests every three days and then you've got the great hunt unlocked at renowned five this is a group event and it's like a horn on your map you join the centaurs you hunt large creatures and you do a big six part chain of events these are actually really cool you, you kind of go around hunting different animals and these big things there's a big boss at the end of it everyone kind of zergs together on the big boss and then from finishing it off you get the great hunt box which has rep trophies and other rewards and then obviously you can hand in your your hunt trophies as well so as you kill rares all over the, the, the area you'll get hunt trophies which you can hand in in marakai the the town in anora plains for uh extra extra rep so that, that that's basically what you're going to be doing here hunting rares the the camp that moves around at rank four re renowned four and then the great hunt at renowned five they're your big things i won't go into all the rewards and the mounts and the recipes and everything in this video because it's, it's pretty huge there's, there's pets and like a little system where you can get a little little companion there's loads of cool stuff here so yeah get leveling get, get that rep grind next iskara to scar you like fishing and cooking because these little guys do and lots of this reputation is centered around these secondary skills the big thing here is the community feast event unlocked at renowned three and spawns every three and a half hours uh, i think you get a little timer like 10 or 15 minutes before saying it's going to spawn and it'll be kind of nearby so a big chef spawns and asks you to attack meat and fish to tenderize it and throw it into the pot the bigger the rank of the soup over the 15 minutes, the better the reward, reaching as high as legendary. So do this and you get a, a reward which has 25 reps, some artifacts, totems, gear, and some other cool stuff. It's it's, it's a really cool event that everyone's screaming, yes, chef, and other memes. But it, it is quite a fun little zerg. It goes on a little bit longer than I think it needs to, but I guess it doesn't expect 
you know, 100 people running at it on day one. So, yeah, this is quite good. There's a quest as well, the Community Feast, which will give you 500 rep, which you can pick up in the Tuscar Village. So grab that before you do your first feast for a little boost. As with the other quest, you also have a, a hand in, the Tuscar Totems that you can find and hand in for reputation. And the big thing here is fishing. There's lots of fishing quests, fishing world quests around the map in the little fishing zones. You unlock like ice fishing, lava fishing, loads of very cool fishing. I think fishers haven't had much really since Legion. There's not been like a huge cool fishing system. So I think this will give fishers something cool to look forward to and the rewards do lead to like a fishing skill kind of thing system so it's it's good it, it looks really interesting this so i'm gonna be trying really hard to push the tuscars even if you don't like fishing they have some of the most adorable otter mounts as rewards so definitely worth progressing just for them well, i will be i like fishing biased but yeah that's the tuscars next up the dragon scale expedition so when i say everything's a bit different the dragon scale base camp this is just a cool place it's south of the waking shores made up of uh explorers treasure hunters and it's probably one of the coolest reps i've seen blizzard add for a while it's more slow paced safari theme you have a few things to do here is increase your renown um a new quest to unlock as you do these things this is kind of one where you really need to push your renown to unlock everything it has to offer renown six and you unlock climbing quests where you climb mountains and earn artifacts renown eight unlocks a rafting world quest where you have to take photos while riding down a raft 16 unlocks a puzzle chest and then at 14 and 24 you unlock a storyline with other rep rewards so a lot is tied behind the rep so the early level in this will be slow so take as many quests as you can um in the little quest hubs so there's achievements in every single zone to to do all the little quest areas so try and do all the quests in this area to get the big boost at the start and then you unlock all the world quests to progress it faster obviously so yeah front load this one if you can there's also um at Renown 2, you get expedition scout packs that include Dragonar artifacts, and you can hand these in with trophies similar to Centaurs and the others. Renown 5 lets you buy shovels to dig up treasures around the island. So there is a lot to do here, but it's, it feels a lot more subtle than the others. Uh, it feels more slow paced, but once the world quests all unlock, I feel like this is going to ramp up quite a bit. Lastly, the Vardraken Accord. This is actually split into four. Uh, if you if you go into your if you go into the actual big guide, it's it's just four. But then when you go into your reputations in your character screen, the Vodraken Accord is actually split into four. Sibelian, Rathian, the Cobalt Assembly, and the Artisans, Artis Artisans Consortium. So let's unpack this one. Picking up uh, allegiances with Rathian or Sibelian. This is one where you choose an alliance with one of these people and you can change it each, each time you go back. And this will give you daily quests. Completing these uh, progresses your rep with each person individually. While you're here, you can pick up all their quests and you can farm key fragments on the mobs here. You can combine these into keys and hand them in to your chosen leader. When 20 of the keys are handed in, they also spawn a rare, which can drop some cool loot. So, you kind of only go in here and you, you just pick up like six quests, seven quests, and there's just tons to do. And you can also do the dungeon, that gives you some rep as well in one of the quests. Next for this is the Siege on Dragonbane Keep, unlocked at around 5. When the Siege is starting, it's like the bottom of the map, you can join the Siege um, and it kind of pushes you up through the map. This this goes very fast, so I'd say if you're if you're in the area and you see it, get there quick because I think we pushed through this whole thing in like 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, doing this gets you a Dragonbane Keep strongbox with 255 Dragon Rep, some artifacts, gear and more. The, the, these boxes scale, so if if it's like a Tuesday and you've you've Wednesday, if if it's just reset, depending on where you are, um, then I would suggest maybe wait until the end of the week. So when you've pushed all your mythics and you've kind of you've you've got a higher gear score, high level, you can um, do this and get a better scaled reward. But hey, if you just want a quick reward fast, then you, you'll get a decent reward from this. And with with the others, there's Titan relics. These can be handed into Suratus in Valdraken. Again, just like all the others, you find them out in the world and then hand them in and get a little bit of rep every time. So it, it's nice that even though the big things are capped, you can really grind these things out. That's kind of the that's kind of the main Valdraken Accordy stuff. But then there's some other stuff tied in here, which is, is a little odd. And that's the Cobalt Assembly. I'm not 100% how this fits into everything, but it's a zone in the north of the Azure span. And when the world quest is up, you head there and complete the zone. And the mobs drop like Torghast like Torghast like rewards, and wacky buffs, and kind of huge changes that do cool things. And it seems like a cool place, but I, I, uh, it seems a little out of place. I was in and out of there really fast. Maybe you can stay here and grind it for a long time. I don't know, but 
seems like an, an interesting place, I guess. And then lastly is the Artesian 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 Consortium. Um, this is this this is much bigger and quite not as well known, maybe that I think is really really important. If you're into your crafting. This is huge because you'll receive crafting quests from your specific trainers, similar to how the crafting quests in BFA worked. And completing these quests increases your um, Artisan Consortium reputation. And this is much bigger than I think they initially tell you because once you increase each one to another reputation, so once you go from, I can't remember the ranks, stranger to not a stranger, uh, and you rank up, you can go to this guy and purchase um, 15 knowledge. For your crafter gatherer and that's huge i mean th these things are i don't say capped but they're very slow to progress once you've got your initial first craft bonuses your initial mines stuff like that so 15 knowledge is is huge for your crafter gatherers so try and rank these up at every single quest you get um some of them are much harder than others i, I think some require you to use the um the craft stations some require you to make some pretty complex crafts this early on so try and do what you can uh maybe use the auction house if you have to for certain things but yeah definitely try and rank these up because 15 knowledge is pretty huge and that's that's it that's kind of a quick breakdown of all the reps and how you can make progress on them how these world events tie into each one and just kind of summarizing some of the things people might have missed or some things that might not be so clear as you know how does sibelian tie into Valdraken, things like that. So hopefully it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have some other tips in here. I try to keep it fairly short. It's already gone on for 10 minutes. So if I just spoke about the rewards in here, it'd be like a 30 minute video. So if there is something like key that you want to add, let people know in the comments. But that's it for the guide. If you want to see any other guides in this format, making things a bit more simpler, gearing up at endgame, um, knowledge, gaining, crafting and gathering, things like that. Let me know. Happy to make more. I want to wrap it up here. Take care, everyone. Enjoy dragon riding. Enjoy the reputations. And I'll catch you in the next one.